Welcome to Vlogtober day four. I am just about to do some morning skincare. I keep seeing on TikTok everyone being like, you shouldn't cleanse in the mornings at all. It should only be like a night thing where you like double cleanse. And honestly, am I gonna take strange advice on the internet sometimes? Probably. I probably should re look into my own research and make sure that it is val a valid source, but I'm just gonna listen to the people today and yeah i feel like there's just so much misinformation on the internet i know that is just like such an obvious thing to say like everyone knows that but some people are like make sure you do this in the morning and this in the evening some people are like only the evening and some people are like you just need a splash of water on your face it's the best way to start the day i actually got some new stuff from clinique last week oh i just realized i never actually got the toner i had like a full proper skin consultation and she sort of explained to me that my skin mainly is dehydrated so i definitely need to drink more water but she thinks it was extremely dehydrated because of the weather change like going to scotland and stuff and it being me doing a lot of like hiking combined with the weather like drawing out all of the moisture from my skin so she was like dehydration so i'm trying to drink more water as well to try and like combat that a little bit um but i already knew my skin was dry and then she just said more consistent spf use because like the machine that they took our like skin consultation on basically shows where all the skin damage will be if we don't like take action which i thought was really interesting and then she showed me like the importance of exfoliating and although i have exfoliated before of course um i haven't stayed consistent with it i don't exfoliate every single day just because my skin would hate it like with something like like this but i actually really want to get the clinique toner that she used on me because it's really gentle and i probably could use it every day but she showed the difference on my hand of like how exfoliating the skin how it like draws up all of the dead skin cells before she put the exfoliator on and then afterwards and then she showed me how like moisturizer rubbed into my skin and it literally sank straight in on the exfoliated side and then on the other side where she hadn't exfoliated the product was just sitting on the top of my skin so i was like oh my god i really need to like make sure i actually do get the dead skin cells off when i'm exfoliating but to be fair i have actually really enjoyed this toner over the years the pixie glow tonic i've just got a new one to try as well from thayers and i've heard amazing things about that stuff so i'm really excited to give that a go as well thirsty skin relief which is definitely what i need so i've got the moist moisture surge in a facial spray if you're into your skincare you'll probably know the clinique moisture surge it's the most incredible moisturizer it's my, one of my favorites i'm gonna open it now but they've got one they've actually given me one that's the moisture surge with spf in so i'm gonna give that a go let's put this on this is definitely thicker than the normal moisture surge having the spf in look look it's like white instead of clear set my skin in good stead for the day you should be wearing spf 50 though so i'm actually gonna put 50 over the top two you should be wearing spf 50 every single day even if it's rainy even if it's cloudy because the uv rays still penetrate through the cloud and damage your skin but yeah it depends if you're not fussed about skin damage which i don't know why you wouldn't be then i guess it's not that important for you but when i saw like what my skin could look like in the future i was like god i really need to stay consistent with that basically if i ever wear makeup out i'm always putting my spf 50 on but sometimes i could get to put it on in the morning if i'm not like going out and um with makeup for the day so that's my issue this is the super defense city block so it's also good for um radicals as well which is gonna be very prevalent in my daily life being in london you know i think i've just put way too much on but but also i don't think i'm putting enough spf on like when i watch people's videos who are like professional dermatologists and they put some sun cream on their face i'm like god i really don't put enough so it might even be the issue that i'm not putting enough on my skin i feel like i need to get cracking with my vlog editing Oh, my hair looks lovely, doesn't it? Why does this do this blue lighting thing when I come out of there? There we go. <laughs> Guys, something really funny happened. If you watched yesterday's video, and I was like, these two books have arrived. It's so weird. I only ordered one. Like, I made sure I only ordered one with my oat milk. And one came on its own and one came with the oat milk. And I was like, that's so weird. Amazon have sent me two. I'm going to send one out to you guys. Da, 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 da. That point still stands because I feel like that's a cute idea. 
Um, but turns out Aiden got back to the football game and he was like, oh my God, your iron flames arrived. And I was like, what? And he'd ordered it the night before I did. So we now have two iron flames. So I'm gonna still send this one out to one of you guys. <laughs> it was so bad. I was like, this is so exciting. I can give one away for free. Turns out me and Aiden both just bought them. <laughs> but regardless, I'm, the point still stands. If you comment on Dragon on last yesterday's video or this video, then you'll be in with the chance of winning. You don't have to just comment on the dragon, by the way. You can talk about anything you want to in the comments. Just as long as there's a dragon emoji somewhere, it's a, it's a entry. <laughs> oh god, yeah. I didn't want to read the back, and I was just started reading the back like do do do. But luckily, it's just a quote. Didn't ruin it, but I was just reading it, and then I thought, shit, <laughs> I should not be reading that. I think the proper blurb is in the front cover, so I'm going to avoid that. Right, let's crack on with editing the vlog for Vlogtober. And I'll catch up afterwards because I'm just going to be sat staring at my laptop screen. Maybe we could work together though if you're working from home or you're studying still. Like whatever you're doing, hopefully we can just sit here and work together for a bit. Vlog is about... A third of the way done <laughs> and we've hit 11 o'clock i think my washing has just dry just dried just finished in the washing machine so we're gonna get them out and i've put that fucking sun cream in my eyes <laughs> i even washed my hands but i think i just like was playing with my eye like when i obviously put product around it and there is spf in my eye so i think i'm gonna have to go in the shower to get it out because it's just been like constantly streaming for the past hour so it's not going, I'm gonna go sort it out. And I did try and clean it in the sink, but it's clearly not worked. <laughs> so this is the reality of my actually everyday life that I probably don't show in the weekly vlogs. Just weird shit that I do that is just stupid and dumb. Let's get these out. Oh God, I actually might have to shower before I get this stuff out of the wash because this is really irritating, you know? Huh? the loveliest little chat on FaceTime to my cousin Sophie who's just gone to the University of Lincoln. I can't believe she's moved there. I'm so excited to go up and see her but she has very much got a case of the freshest flu and tonsillitis on top of that. She's very prone to it so she was just chatting to me about all of the antics of freshers and I felt really sorry for her because she's so poorly bless her but yeah we literally were on the phone for like over an hour um whilst I was like doing my editing and stuff in the background because I was like editing my thumbnails and stuff that I could do quite easily. I also thought it'd be a good time to actually show you what I've got here. It's all autumn winter bits from ASOS. I'm excited so I picked up some really cozy cutesy bits. Ah, look how nice this is. I actually did wear this yesterday. You'll have seen this if you watched yesterday's Vlogtober. But this is my brown knit. This is from the ASOS design range. It's really cozy and the thing that I like the most about it is that it's a thin knit. I am someone who just gets warm so quickly. I, I wanna wear it and all that, but yeah, I'm just a warm blooded person. So anything that's like thin during this time of the year is perfect because then I can not get a chill. Cause sometimes I do get ill because I go out in like not as much clothing, but I feel so hot at the time. But anyway, that's a story for another day. This is just cute as fuck. I think they're, yeah, they're pre-turned up, but you can turn them down the little sleeves. And then this is probably my favorite thing from the haul. This is from Reclaim Vintage, which is one of my favorite brands on ASOS, aside from the ASOS stuff. And how gorgeous is this? So it's like purple, burgundy, yellow, and white striped cardigan. It's so fluffy and soft. I'm like, I don't want to wash this because I don't want the fluff to go away. It's so cute. Got this in a size large. I'm really excited to style this. I love it so much, I feel like it's very me. And then kind of that coincide with that, are these from Reclaim Vintage as well maybe? Or are these ASOS? Have they got a tag on? Oh, these are ASOS Design. I fell in love with these scarves. I got the green and blue, like turquoisey blue. Kind of goes with what I'm wearing now. Not that I would wear these together. Um, and then the pink and red one. <laughs> Again, they're so fluffy. They're that same kind of material that's so soft. Does it say what this is? 100% nylon. Oh, so soft. Literally just make blankets in the this stuff. Like, oh, it's so cozy. I'll leave everything, by the way, linked down below in case anyone's interested. Um, 
I usually have all of my outfits on my sh like to know it. It's like an app that you can download and loads of other creators, celebrities, influencers, anyone just adds their outfit stuff onto there and then you can just like easily go on there rather than asking people um, what they're wearing and if they don't reply to you. So I reply to absolutely everyone. Like if I haven't replied to you, I genuinely just haven't seen it. Um, because I just appreciate anyone who starts a conversation with me so much. I love it. I love connecting with people online and finding my people. Like I used to feel like I had no friends <laughs> that were into the same stuff as me. So when anyone comments on anything or is like, I love your outfit or whatever, I'm like, oh my God, that is so cute. So yeah, my like to know it is always available, but please feel free to just ask me um, if there's anything specifically you want links to. So then I can save you having to rummage around on my like to know it, but these will be on there anyways. This is another reclaimed vintage. You can tell I'm obsessed. This is yellow, but it's it feels so, it's really thin, but it feels really nice quality. Like I can't explain it. It just feels very high, high quality compared to a lot of other like knitted jumpers that I have. But yeah, again, a cardigan style with buttons all down the front. I love bringing my color into autumn. Like, although I do love all of the browns and the neutrals, I think they're really cool. I do just like having that pop of color in, in some of the knitwear, as you can see from all of the random scarves and stuff. I got this brown um, beanie to go with my brown jump here but they're slightly off i don't know if i can get away with wearing them together but one's really cool toned and one's really warm so i'm not sure if they're gonna actually go together like i planned but regardless they will both come in handy like i'll be able to style them with a lot of other stuff and i love a beanie i wore them all the time in scotland and i was like why don't i wear these more often they're so cozy but it goes back to me being really hot like i don't wear beanies in london because i'm boiling hot and the tube is sweaty but however i am cycling more now since last winter i've i've become really obsessed with cycling using like line bikes and stuff around london so maybe a beanie will actually be really handy now to keep my ears warm when it's freezing cold <laughs> and then finally my last little knit this is i think this is it's not really cropped it's kind of like mid-length jumper some like baggy sleeves again super thin i actually didn't think this one was going to be but when it came i was like oh i love this i feel like a lot of other people will be like oh i don't want a thin knit but for me it's something that i find cozy and then again you can layer it up if you are too cold as well this is like about as thick as i can go before i'm like feeling stressed and tense up unless i'm in scotland for example where it is freezing cold but like in the city something like this is probably as thick as i can go because i obviously have a jacket on as well whereas like with these i can have like a t-shirt i can layer up with this have my jacket on and i don't feel like so overwhelmed with like all the thick layers you know anyway i feel like that's kind of niche and no one else will be able to relate to that so that's enough of that but yeah i thought i would share, share those pieces with you because i absolutely love the stuff that they've got on there at the moment and i'm yeah i'm ready to style them i basically got rid of a load of my clothes i did like a tiktok series where i was rummaging through loads of my old stuff from my family wardrobe and i was like right this is like inspired me again to start decluttering my life i always see like september october time as like a start of the new year start of uni <laughs> so it kind of is like a reborn new year so yeah I'm, de I'm definitely getting my life in order i'm decluttering loads of stuff i'm giving loads of stuff away to my friends and family and i just want to yeah have a bit of a clutter free not clutter free space because i love having little bits and bobs that as you can see my shelves and stuff are full of like fun bright colorful random things i don't like not having anything there because i like like having a bit of personality and a bit of chaos but i don't i just don't want as much <laughs> as much that's going on right now i better get back to editing i think i'm gonna make a little tiktok of the edinburgh trip and just condense basically what i did in yes in the other vlogtober video which is just my whole the whole squash trip i kind of want to make it into like a little punchier video for tiktok a bit more short form and um, so it's easily digestible for those that don't sit and watch youtube videos like me so it is six o'clock and there is no way i can go through my day obviously i've stood outside on my balcony but that doesn't count i like i literally haven't gone outside at all and i've just yeah been stuck inside like trying to catch up on all my work because i was away last week so i'm like right i need to actually like get out like look at that little sunset happening over there i'm gonna go to my rooftop and just like stretch my body move myself not like properly stretch i'm not taking like my yoga mat up or anything i just kind of want to like move my body so i've not been like sat down all day walk a around a little bit and as the sun sets i'm gonna do my little journaling sesh which worked wonders before i went away to scotland i was like oh my god i love this routine like journaling at that point rather than in the morning was just like so nice because i could like probably reflect on my day or like my productivity levels my energy levels like really think about what i can do like the next day to bring happiness and more gratitude into my life so i'm gonna go up let's let's do this i'm kind of in a weird outfit so i'm hoping no one's up there but weirdly even though it's such a lovely rooftop 
not really many people are up there so hopefully yeah we don't run into anyone especially because it's been raining as well I feel like everyone will just avoid being outside whereas I actually love it I just haven't made the time to do it today which was just very naughty of me but luckily I'm out for a lot of the day tomorrow so I think, I think it was good that I was in today for some in some ways because I needed to get a lot of shit done all right let's go up I should probably take my key yeah I'm gonna just stand up and journal this time because like I said I need to move my body around gratitude's done i'm actually gonna read them out to you because i feel like it might help you like think of things every day that you can be grateful for like i've always got the same same ones in my head where i'm like i'm grateful that i've woken up and i and my family and friends are healthy i've got a roof over my head i've got food to nourish my body like they're all of my classic ones that i always write anyways because they're just some things that people do you know what i mean like people take for granted and i've taken for granted every single day like when i when, when i don't do this i forget that like there's so much happiness to be brought in a day and then specifically in relation to today i've got that i'm challenging myself to do something consistent um, and it's going well so far like the vlogs that I'm doing every single day and also those parts of my routine kind of play into that like making sure I'm taking all of my probiotics in the morning and my gut health stuff and like things that are going to better me um, I've also put in making the time to check in on my friends I've checked in on so many people today and I like, made that time because I know it's sometimes hard when the rush of life and busyness of life like gets in the way but um yeah, I feel like I've really checked in today on like a load of my friends and family to make sure they're okay. I like FaceTime my cousin, made sure she was all settling into uni. And I feel like that's something to be proud of because sometimes I can be a bit selfish and just like focus on my life instead of checking in on other people. And I'm sure a lot of you can probably say the same. I also had like a huge company reach out today about going to an event and I'm so buzzing. Um, it's Disney. I'm gonna go on a, to a Disney event. I got like an email through earlier about um, them hosting like this crazy like event in london and it looks like it's gonna be absolutely amazing although i can't take anyone with me i'm gonna have to go because disney is like something that really um was so prominent in my life growing up personally and i just love it like i don't even care like it kind of upsets me that there's this whole thing about being a disney adult like not necessarily that i am i don't really know what class as a disney adult like i love disney i i have disney plus like i love it so much but um like let people love what they want to love do you know what i mean like these people that say this stuff are probably obsessed with something else in life whether it's football a favorite band a favorite singer and i'm just like oh it's so sad that we judge each other and like that's a disney adult and i'm like well let everyone just do what they want to do and love what they want to love like if you've got enough time to push hate hatred onto someone for liking something then that's just like there's so much about you it's my rant over but yeah i'm really gassed that disney have got in contact and then i've also put for having the most hope ever about my pain being sorted i feel like that is something to be grateful for. like even though i don't currently have the answers i've made like a progress in my journey by even having the pre-op in place and the surgery in place like even being a bit disheartened from earlier and having my pre-op rescheduled to later this week it, can, it like put a bit of a down on my day and then i was like no like there is some stuff in place now like they are scheduled so i've got a bit of hope tomorrow we can maybe do something different i always try and do my gratitudes regardless but i might not share all my gratitudes if that's something that bores people Ooh, noisy goodbye your gorgeous sunset love you yeah what i was gonna say is that i can do i know a lot of people like struggle with journal prompts and like knowing what to actually journal write down so if that is something that you have an issue with then maybe let me know and i can include some sections in the vlogs and if you don't like them you can obviously just skip ahead but i'm going to try around this time obviously it doesn't i have a few evening events and stuff coming out throughout october so i won't be able to do it all the time but when i can i will be coming up here and journaling and doing my gratitudes and then maybe picking another topic like sometimes i like to write stuff that i'm worried about because it helps me rationalize it and um, sometimes i write things that i like i did manifestations the other week if you remember but even though i had that whole chat about whether manifestation is actually real or not or if it's just you doing the work i don't know but yeah let me know if you enjoy the journal sections i'm actually currently in the process of trying to like recreate my self-love journal that i released a few years ago with hp but i want to like do my own sort of version um that suits my life now and i think that would be really beneficial for other people so if that's something you want to also see let me know it'll be nice to know if there are people that are interested in that sort of thing because i think a lot of people have this preconception of journaling to be like wishy-washy and like stupid and not working and i know that some things work for some people some things don't like journaling might not work for you but i didn't think it did because i wasn't doing the right things that helped me and i wasn't tuning into it and like letting myself 
feel my feelings and actually actually help myself if that makes sense I was like very close-minded with it and then when I did open my mind and found the right things to journal about like it's just changed my life and the way I view things and my mindset I feel a lot more positive as a person so yeah anyway run over I'm about to go to make dinner Aiden's just brought back the last few ingredients for burritos so that's what I'm making for dinner tonight <laughs> Burritos have been made. We're about to scoff our faces, aren't we? And watch our fave, which is only murders in the building because an episode dropped last night and Aiden was out watching Arsenal. Do you feel ashamed of that? We're one day behind because of you. <laughs> I've got a raging headache. Just off to bed. We've been watching Normal People. We're a few episodes from the end and it's so good. This is actually probably one of my most used products ever from an ad campaign. So I worked with Oral-B, I think, a few years ago. But this toothbrush has lasted me for, I think, three years now. It's so good. Aiden also bought one. I don't really know why we've got the same colour though. It's kind of confusing. But Aiden set a, put a different setting on, so his goes pink. But yeah, it's the best thing. And you, you can also like connect it to an app on your phone. To see which like, areas you're doing. Teeth are brushed. And I'm just about to head into bed. I've got quite a busy day out and about tomorrow. So it'll be a little bit fun and different to me basically inside all day. But I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. I appreciate you so much for watching. Hopefully this headache disappears soon. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Mm -hmm.